Hello, this is David Erickson with the eStrategy Internet Marketing Blog at e-strategyblog.com for today's marketing podcast. Uh, I want to take a look at Twitter's new feature. They've just uh, started rolling out uh, who to follow. So like Facebook and LinkedIn, they're now adding a feature that um, suggests people that you should follow on Twitter. Um, now, nobody gives out their algorithms for how they determine who to follow, but typically it's based on, uh, Twitter does say it's based on who you follow and who those people that you follow, follow. Um, but I imagine other factors uh, take into account the content that you're tweeting, uh, the types of uh, content providers that you're following, um, the categories of people that you're following, the industries, and so forth. I imagine it takes into all, all the things that it knows about you um, and factors those into giving you a list of who to follow. At least that's the way that I would do it. And I assume that's the way that Facebook and LinkedIn do it. So I'm going to assume that Twitter is doing the same thing. So let's take a look at um, how it's working here and look at my who to follow list and tell you whether I think these are accurate or not. Um, CARE 11 is a local t television news station that um, it is a good suggestion because I follow a lot of news stuff. Um, I don't know why I'm not following CARE 11 right now. Um, typically news organizations um, list just their headlines um, and I'm not really interested in that so I'm going to pass on CARE 11 right now until I take a more look at it. Foursquare, uh, I, I use Foursquare a lot in uh, tweet to uh, my uh, from Foursquare to uh, my Twitter account, so um, that makes sense. Uh, Colleen McVoy's local uh, ad agency or uh, PR agency in town. Uh, I'm in that industry, so that makes sense too. Uh, I follow breweries. Summit Brewery is uh, is one I probably should be following. Uh, it's one. It's um, one of the big beers here in the in the Twin Cities. Um, Pat Neshek, Twins pitcher. Yes, I follow baseball, so I should be following Pat Neshek. And uh, let's see, ESPN, I follow a lot of sports stuff, so ESPN uh, 1500 for the Twin Cities, that makes sense. Uh, Minneapolis Snow Emergency, I am in the Twin Cities, uh, it's not snowing in, the, in August in Minnesota, so I'll pass on that. Um, but it's accurate. Um, it's it's based on location here. I've got a lo lot of location-based uh, suggestions of people within the Twin Cities. Um, industry suggestions. Uh, Fast Horse is a uh, communications company in the Twin Cities. Um, and I'll see a lot of industry people here, too. Dan Barrio is a... Uh, is a um, uh, uh, media person, uh, sports media person in the Twin Cities. Um, there's a lot of people that I probably should be following here. These are very accurate, actually. Elixir Lounge, I follow a lot of food-related, restaurant-related um, uh, content, so uh, that makes sense. Uh, politics, Emmer for governor, I follow pol political stuff, so uh, he's a candidate for governor. Uh, that makes sense. Okay, City of Minneapolis, another media person. Entertainment stuff. First Avenue is a legendary uh, nightclub here in the Twin Cities. I follow a lot of music stuff. Dining again. Here's a restaurant. Uh, AP Style Book. That makes sense. Nonprofit media. I do follow a lot of nonprofit uh, uh, stuff. Andrew Zimmer, another fo another foodie type of uh, person. So yeah, this looks all very accurate. Um, it's telling me who also that I'm following is following. Um, these accounts are following these accounts um so i'm I'm impressed with this i'm gonna have to go back and follow um follow some of these people that i am not following that i should be following so uh very impressed very accurate uh and a very helpful feature as well so this has been a marketing podcast of the strategy internet marketing blog my name is david erickson you can find me at e-strategyblog.com uh when you come and visit make sure to subscribe to the rss news feed so you don't miss any posts or you can follow me and or you can follow me on Twitter at D Erickson.